Hey everybody, Shoebox Legends here. Thanks for joining me today as we bust open this uh, box, which I've learned has been dubbed the Box of Jank or the Jank Box by I think Zach over at Zach's Collections uh, here on YouTube, channel that I enjoy quite a bit. But these are the infamous Collector's Edge baseball repacks um, that you typically find at your local pharmacy. I uh, picked this one up at a Walgreens recently when I was out running some errands just because, uh, as I've said often, it's very rare for me to find unopened product out in the wild. It's gotten a little easier in the, the past few weeks, but uh, for $4.99, figured this Fairfield special was uh, at least intriguing enough to make a YouTube video out of, if, if nothing else. Um, I don't really expect many, if any, keeper cards for my collection to come out of this, but um, I'm just taking one for the team here in the interest of making content on YouTube. That's, yeah, that's the reason I picked this up. Um, and I think you get one open, unopened pack in here and then a little stack of cards. So, uh, let's see how we do. And I'll tell you right off the bat, it's been a while since I purchased one of these, but here's the goods. And this is not as big a stack of cards as you used to get out of one of these. This looks to be maybe like 30 or 35 cards to me, but... Uh, let's see what we got here. So we have a kind of a cool one out of the gate. It's not a, a valuable card by any means, but a nice, uh, the seldom of SWAT card of Nolan Ryan at the plate. And that is uh, something that you don't see all that often. I'm going to make a little room here. I put this Carlton Fisk uh, buyback here up for good luck. Uh, but that's a neat Nolan Ryan card as someone who's a, a fan of the, uh, the Ryan Express growing up. Uh, we got a Sixto Sanchez rookie out of 2021 tops. So that's not half bad. Kind of surprised to see that in there. And then here's the type of junk we're expecting. 89 upper deck Ed Romero. Got a Ken Hawk Harrelson with the Red Sox. That's a neat card there. I think this is like a Pacific card or something like that. If I'm not mistaken, Baseball Legends. Yep. So that's neat. Um, don't think I have this one for my Red Sox collection. So... Um, I have to say, going into this with low expectations, uh, I'm kind of impressed with the Nolan Ryan and the Ken Harrelson cards already, just as at least as being fun oddballs um, and content that's a little bit better than I was expecting to pull out of this package. Uh, back to the jank, though, we got Dan Kissenberry, or Quissenberry with the Cardinals on the 89 tops. Scott Fletcher, 88 Donruss. Got a Dave Steeb, 87. Jim Dwyer, another 88 Donruss, and he looks just thrilled to be on a, uh, a baseball card. So thanks for smiling for the camera, Jim. Uh, Louis Leal for the Toronto Blue Jays on 85 tops, so a nice mid-80s selection there. Um, here's a Fleer Tradition card of Amori Garcia. Not familiar with him for the Marlins, but I do like the photo there. Got John Shelby with the Tigers out of 91 upper deck. Got a minor league card here for the Hagerstown Suns, Stacy Jones. It's a double A card. It's a 90 Fleer, Greg Vaughn. Nice smile, at least, from Greg there. Uh, here's a, kind of a fun one from 92 Upper Deck, Turk Wendell for the Cubs. Diamond debuts, and he is using the water fountain. Looks like he's brushing his teeth at the water fountain, holding a plastic Coca-Cola cup, so... Not entirely sure what's going on there, but that might be the only card in my collection that features a player in the act of brushing his teeth. So I am just a fan of that one as far as randomness and variety goes. Got me uh, got me to snicker anyway. So White Sox leaders out of 88 tops. We've got Mark Gardner with the Expos here on 92 upper deck. Nice uh, Spose warm-up jacket there. Is a Jay Johnstone Fleer, early 80s Fleer with the Dodgers and... Uh, Boy, talk about cutting edge, crisp photography. That is a is a blurry photo from the folks at Fleer. And uh, wow, we're seeing double vision here. Back to back, Jay Johnstones. Just the card you wanted to get twice. Here's a Joe Nolan. Might send this one off to my buddy Brian at Walkenbach who collects uh, spectacled ball players. So might be a fit there. Here's a Scott Ruskin for the Expos on 92 Fleer. Expo's Leaders card from 88 Tops featuring uh, the Hawk, Andre Dawson. So very Expo's heavy repack here. Got Mark Lemke with the Braves on 89 Donruss. Rob Deere, courtesy of 91 Upper Deck. Got uh, Mike Scott here, who was actually a very effective pitcher on 87 Donruss. This one's got a pretty 
bum upper left corner. Got Shane Mack on the 88 Donruss design. Greg Swindell for the Cleveland Indians on 89 Donruss. And then a Billy Ripken 88 Donruss. So on a, on a junk wax tear here, Andy Bennis rookie for the Padres on the 90 Donruss design. Got Sean Abner back to 89. And we've got some 90 Bowman here. Brady Anderson, who unbelievably had that 50 home run season at one point, and a Mickey Tettleton, so a couple of O's there. And then we have a Hall of Fame player in the middle of the pack. Nice early win from upper deck with a kind of a timeline motif going on there, so not a bad card there. I think uh, aside from Nolan Ryan and Andre Dawson, that's probably the only other Hall of Famer that's spilled out of this so far. Uh, from 2019 tops, we've got John Ryan Murphy, who I know nothing about and didn't even realize was a Professional ball player, uh, Jesus Aguilar for the Brewers. We've got a Chad Hutchinson star rookie from the days when Upper Deck had a major league license. And then back to some junk. So we've got uh, 89 Fleer, I think this is, Mike Lavalier, Tom Candiotti, Bob Dernier. We've got a 88 traded Luis Rivera. An Athletics Fleer card here of Bobby Crosby. And we close it out with a Heritage Mound Magicians. Uh, this is pretty nice. I almost wonder if um, the folks at Fairfield knew where this would be distributed regionally because I did seem to get a decent amount of Red Sox content here for a small stack of cards. And then here is my one included pack. This is a looks like a retail pack of 2020 update. I don't do the best job keeping up with modern releases, and I don't know what, if anything, would be a good pull from this, but let's go through it and see what we have. So not bad, right out of the gate. A Ken Griffey Jr., obviously not a playing era or valuable Griffey, but never going to complain about getting a new uh, Ken Griffey Jr. card of any sort. We've got a Josh Fuentes with the Rockies. Max Scherzer, career leaders card. Love Scherzer. We've got uh, Pete Alonzo. Let me rotate some of these around. Pete Alonzo, home run derby card. Neil Walker for the Phillies. Got a Craig Kimbrell with the Cubs. And then uh, looks like this is not half bad. We got a Jake Marisnik, Tops Gold. These are numbered as they are every year to the year of release. So numbered out of 2020. And uh, while it's not a fit for my collection, um, with the amount of printing that goes on in the post-COVID era of the hobby, I think it's harder than ever to pull uh, parallels like that Topps Gold, especially out of retail products. So that's a winner that I'll put in my trade box, uh, as is this Mark Grace. So this is a chromed up version of the turkey red inserts that we've uh, come to know over the last decade or so as baseball card collectors. And uh, Mark Grace, I'm a fan of. I've talked about this on the channel before, but... Um, underrated guy who actually had more hits uh, than anyone else in the decade that was the 1990s. So cool Mark Grace there. Uh, here's one of these number one prospect inserts of Ethan Small for the Brewers. And then another insert. So a pretty insert heavy and parallel heavy pack here. We've got a standard non-chrome turkey red of Andy Pettit, member of the Hall of Very Good. And we close it out with a Cameron Mabin. A Randy Arozarena rookie card. So that's probably one of the better cards that you could pull out of this product. Um, you're not going to sell this and pay off your mortgage or anything, but happy to see that one spill out nonetheless. And we've got Sandy Leone, with the Cleveland Indians, now Guardians, and another catcher to close it out in Davey Grion for the Phillies. Not familiar with him. That is a rookie card as well. So uh, about as expected out of the box of Jank. I don't really see too much here. I'll probably hang on to the Nolan Ryan and the Red Sox Mound Magicians card and maybe tuck this Randy Rosarena rookie card away in the collection. And the rest of this is off to the giveaway or trade box. So that is a wrap on the box of jank from the pharmacy. Um, this was probably an experience that'll convince me not to pick up any more of these if I see them on the shelf. Um, but I appreciate you stopping by to check this one out with me anyway. And we'll certainly be back in the very near future with some more sports card content. Until then, take care.